Hey everyone, welcome to the Tech Channel. I hope you are doing well. I'm sorry I didn't upload something for a while. It's been busy out here, and this video wouldn't have been uploaded now either. But uh, one of the viewers asked me for help about a project concerning uh, the RTC module. And as you know, you can contact me on my Facebook page if you have a problem or you need some help about a project. I will help you. It's a pleasure. So, and you can see I have the keypad here and the LCD I2C screen, RTC module, and the Arduino Uno. Also, I have a breadboard, so you can guess the project is setting up the RTC module through the keypad. We'll see how to wire all these modules with our Arduino board and we'll see the code we will use for this uh, project. Uh, so for your information I uploaded a, uh, like a video concerning the RTC module only. Then with RTC module with the LCD I2C screen to show like the date and the time. And also I have uploaded before uh, video concerning the keypad also a video concerning the LCD I2C alone so if you are always working uh, on a project concerning multiple modules you should like divide the project until you know how to use easily one uh, one of them then you can combine them in your project actually this is what I do so for this project we're gonna wire our uh, LCD I2C screen, RTC module, I'm using here RTC like uh, DS1302 module it's not very accurate actually comparing to other modules but we will proceed now to the like uh, uh, the wiring actually I already have some jump wires here we will use a breadboard for this actually I have a resistor here uh, and so it's already here uh, you saw in my previous video about the RTC module uh, that I have a problem if I wire the date pin directly to the Arduino it shows like a strange date and uh, time so we must add like a resistor well, like uh, 10 kilo or 1 kilo as you want no problem first I'm gonna wire like my RTC so the RTC is powered with the 5 volt from the Arduino. First I'm gonna proceed like to put these uh, wires here so I can combine them with the uh, VCC and uh, ground from the Arduino and from the LCD I2C screen. So here in this pin like yes. VCC GNT then we have a CLK I will use the pin number 2 I'm using a lot of pins here because the keypad and the pin from the date actually comes to the resistor in series with the resistor then to the pin number 3 Then I have the reset pin, Come, goes to pin number five, 4 from the Arduino, yes it's 4. And then I have my keypad, I have like uh, 8 uh, wires here, I'm using 8 pins from the Arduino, it's already wired with the jump wires. I'm gonna wire them like from 5 to 12 I should actually upload a video on how to use like uh, one uh, pin only or uh, like uh, reducing the number of pins used those more both methods are uh, possible so my RTC and my keypad are wired here I will leave like in a link right below codes and uh, link for uh, codes and the wiring schematic for the wiring 
And here we're gonna take the ground and ground and VCC. Then the SDA and the SCL from here goes to A4 and A5. Now all we have to do is to power our Arduino and seed code. And as always I forgot to wire like the VCC with the VCC from Arduino. I always do this mistake. Now it's time for code. So this is my code. Actually, it's a it's a raw version. I didn't add like commands so you can understand it easy. So here we have like as always the library is needed here, and I left the link for for this virtual robotics RTC in the RTC video video. Then the LCDI to C screen, I left the the library in the LCD video. You can you will find them combined in the in the file in the link right below. But this one like for keypad.h you can download it directly from Sketch include library manage library. Then you search for like uh, keypad. You just type here keypad. This one is already installed. Keypad by Mark Stanley Alexander Bailey. It's a classic one. So here, like as we saw this thing before, we also have them. The wiring of the RTC and uh, I will modify those uh, commands so you can understand them. Just now for the using of the video to make uh, quick. And here like uh, things for the keypad like number of uh, rows and number of columns then the mapping of the keypad also here I add some uh, like uh, integers and some charts so I, I will use them later in the code so first like we have a setup it's a classic setup I removed this uh, how to set time like from the by the code but uh, in the code you find right in the link, uh, I will remove it completely. It's useless here. So here, this is like our loop where we can use our main program. And here you can see like uh, I add this uh, while loop. So the like the screen of the LCD will not. Uh, like flash uh, continuously I want like a little delay it's uh, if I left it without a delay it will not uh, print the characters correctly so I add this little delay and as also this uh, while so if I don't press any key we can we will get this code just uh, it reads this uh, key preset from the keypad and it like update time you know this function it gets time from the rtc when you get this uh, time you will print it on the on the screen and the dates also we all saw that before uh, once you press ok you will get out of the of the loop and you will go to this uh, like uh, condition detects if the key is the like what you call the star the star key if you press this uh, the start key, you can go to the setup. Setup is let, let you set the time, the date, and the time. And you can see the code is uh, very basic, and you can understand it easily. It's not something complex or uh, difficult to understand. We just get like the key, the key press, and we change them, we store them first, then we change them to the integers because they are all char. Then we do like some little math and calculation to get the numbers correctly. And you can see it all repeat, they repeat. So the K preset is 
we can compare it it should be a key we press a key here it's not a no key and it's not like a um, uh, star or years or watch called hashtag or I don't know and ABCD like uh, the other things in the keypad so I uh, we should only take like uh, numbers then we store them as I said and change them to ints and we store them in a like year and this value is like this new year I like n for new n year n month in day and like for hour and minutes I didn't add it like the seconds so and then like we use this function I will move my this is it this is the function that update the times it set the times like uh, by the code but uh, it reads from the keypad we will see the functioning in video right now so I've already uploaded my code here as you can see this is what it shows like the day and month and uh, year it's not like the American way you can change it in the code if you want to print the month first and the day and here we have like the hour this is my current like uh, hour and minute here and second I don't know if you can see that the uh, screen blinks a little bit it's not actually code that perfect I don't know but uh, if I see it from this angle is flashing but uh, facing me is uh, functioning good functioning so now we pass the essential part which is like how to set this press the uh, key this key which is the star key and we pass directly to setup it asks us to set up to year I will set up like 2017 and the month let's say it's like 12 then the day lights us like 19 hour like uh, say it's, it's afternoon 17 like and 35 it passed automatically then it sets the date as I said 19 December 2017 and it's 17:35 in hours so this is how you set this uh, date and like uh, I, I should remove the USB cable and then like we will wait a little bit until some times pass and we will discuss or do whatever you want and so just for like a reminder you can contact me on my facebook page if you want some help um it's good actually it's giving me ideas and mm, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to put a like if you like it don't forget to share the video don't forget to ask any question if you want or if you have any problem we will wire like our USB now come on come on come on come on come on come on it do this thing like some few times Remove our cable wire again. What the hell? Wait is over. Let's wire our Arduino again. Yes, we have our time, like and date normally, as we set. And you know that this module, like, have this function: store date and that's record to real time clock. 
I will set it for our local over here and local date here for now which is 2018 and like I forgot to tell you to enter like if the month is uh, only one uh, single digit you should enter two digits actually it's 04 for April and 05 for like uh, May or uh, 06 for June so you know uh, it's actually you should enter two two digits you can modify this in the code if you find a better version of you create a better ver version share it with us you can actually like uh, put for then confirm by a button or something and but we will press two buttons in this case so it's not a problem zero four for april day which is 10 we are the 10th hour is 22 minute like say 55 then we wait a little bit and it charged uh, the date here that we set so that's it for this project i hope you can understand it and you can do it uh, in your project and you don't have problems uh, especially with the libraries and don't forget to subscribe and like and see you next time thank you